Hi all, this is Dirk Koenig from Canoe, and today I'd like to show you another sample application that we have in the OpenDolphin project. OpenDolphin is about bridging the gap between uh, JavaFX for the desktop and Java Enterprise on the server. So this small application that we have is, um, as opposed to the other typical sample applications, it has a bit more enterprise feeling to it. It is showing a number of, of uh, OpenDolphin features in combination, whereas the other samples that come with OpenDolphin are usually targeted as uh, to one specific feature. So what we have here is the Portfolio Manager. It says, oh, please select a portfolio. And by the way, the application runs on, on a server. It runs on Grails. Grails is maintaining all the information. Uh, the portfolios that you see here, they come from a database that uh, Grails manages. So let's say you'd like to see the balanced portfolio. Click on it. And uh, you see it starts first in an almost transparent way and then kind of materializes, puts the opacity from almost zero to one. And as soon as the data is really available from the server, only then will the, uh, is the data displayed in this materialized manner. I'll show you this a second time within, with the second uh, portfolio. Please pay attention to, uh, to the animation that, that kind of materializes the information for you, like so. So the... Um, the domain is uh, a little bit boring if you have worked uh, for the financial industry as long as I did, but uh, anyway, <laughs> so that's kind of a typical enterprise domain. We maintain a portfolio. My portfolio has a name. The name is uh, editable over here. The name is displayed on, an, on a tab, and it's also displayed over here in, uh, in a list view. When I change the name, let's say I give it uh, balance number two, it changes not only in the edit field, but also on the tab and also immediately in the, in the list view over here. The same is true for the, for the total that is um, in the portfolio, and whether the portfolio is fixed or under development. A portfolio um, is kind of a collection of various, let's say, shares. Um, the financial industry tries to um, pretty often calls this a position. A position is, let's say, um, UBS shares, and there are so many of them. So the the weight of, of how this is weighed inside uh, a portfolio is uh, 50. And the, the balanced portfolio is um, is kind of giving quite a, a big weight onto uh, blue chips, so to speak, and almost nothing to things like a canoe, for example. Let's enhance the uh, the weight of canoe in here. Double click on it, change it to let's say uh, twenty, and then as soon as the value changes, all the views change on that information. So this is one view on the information. This is one view on the information. This is another view down here. The total is kind of a collective view of all the weights. And um, it has been one requirement from, from the client that, uh, that inspired this little sample application that the calculation of the total should not be on the client side, it should be on the server side, and this actually happens. So if there's any special business logic, um, how you calculate the total, and it's not only uh, a simple sum of those, as it is at the moment, then this should happen on the server, and it does. <clears throat> So we may want to have um, additional positions in here. Let's say uh, click on the plus, and it starts with a change me, and I can give it some other name. Let's say, um, what would be a good name? Uh, no longer available is uh, Java. <laughs> so Java gets, gets a 10. Uh, this has been the, the stock ticker from the old uh, when Sun was still owning Java. And we can give it a different weight 
let's say 20. And again, all the time, uh, the total updates, uh, the view updates, and this view updates as well. We can set the whole editor to fixed. And as soon as we do so, we cannot change it anymore. And that uh, not only, and it's also updated over here, fixed is now true. Right. Um, and this happens because these views, the table view, and the buttons, and the edit field, they bind against the, um, the presentation model that stands behind the portfolio. And when the, portfo the portfolio has a fixed attribute, and the disabled property of these controls bind against the, uh, dis, uh, the, bind against the fixed attribute of that portfolio. So uh, I can click back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And the server is always notified. The server is in total control and uh, has the total knowledge of what we do here. There are some important pieces to note on this application. One was um, client and server handling. The other one is use of the presentation model. No view in the system knows any other view. So when we're um, fixing or unfixing this one, these views, this view in particular, doesn't know any of the views that he has to enable or disable. It doesn't know this view, for example, I do it and fixed. It doesn't know anything about it. Even if we're um, adding another portfolio here, let's say we're deleting one, we are selecting Java, and we are uh, deleting it from the list, the only thing that happens in the action listener of the minus is we are deleting the presentation model, the position presentation model, and that's it. This, uh, th this button doesn't even need to know um, what happens as soon as something is, is deleted. This table view itself listens to the, um, to, the available, uh, to the available presentation models that he has to display. And if one vanishes, it uh, removes it from its internal list of this uh, table view. And the same is true for the, um, for the chart view over here. That means that um, it makes it very easy to, uh, and to put new views into the system or remove views from the system because you don't have to care about uh, whether you need to uh, what you need to update as well. You simply add something, you remove something and uh, everything else will happen automatically. All the display happens automatically. Um, a short view into the code over here. These are, for example, the bindings of one of these portfolios. We are binding the fixed attribute of a portfolio presentation model to the selected attribute of the fixed field. So the, the field itself will display the check mark or will undisplay the check mark depending on whether the fixed attribute of the presentation model is true or false. And the same is true for the name attribute and the name field and the total attribute and the total field. Um, the fields, the name field, which is now the, the Java FX field, the positions view, which is a table view, the plus, which is a button, and the minus, which is also a button, they are all um, bound such that the fixed attribute of the portfolio PM is bound to the disabled attribute of that control, of each of those controls. Right? This is how we express that these controls should be enabled or disabled as soon as the fixed attribute of the portfolio is enabled or disabled. I hope you are now convinced uh, about the benefits of um, a presentation model in your system. Thanks a lot for watching.